guys, so I wanted to share with you guys my entire stash of Makeup Revolution products. Now, I did film this tutorial and it has already been posted and I will link it down below and put an annotation up at the above top of the screen so that you guys can pull it up if you're interested in seeing this dramatic kind of smoky look with some bright pops of blue. So I wanted to kind of share with you guys everything that I have. I've placed two orders fairly recently um, back to back uh, because when I placed my initial order I was so thrilled with everything that I got. I think it was one product, yes, one product that I was just kind of meh, it's okay. Um, and that sort of intrigued me to try more. It's an affordable brand, it comes from the UK. You can order from the UK site, it takes about a week and a half to get your order uh, delivered to a US address. They do have a US uh, website that's designed to ship to US addresses only, but you can only get certain amount of, of their products on the site, their whole range of what they make is not available. They make a ton of stuff. So I would definitely recommend that you go through the UK site because you'll be able to see everything they make and then purchase what you want. And it's just in, as inexpensive as it is on the US version of their site. And you can also get their products through Ulta.com. I will also link those three sites down below for you. But again, they only have a specific amount of products. So I thought, why not just go through my stash and show you what I've got and kind of give you some little bits and pieces of um, kind of like a review, of mini reviews of these things, you know? So, let's start with the eyeshadows because that's what I have the most of. The first product is the I Heart Chocolate Palette and this is supposed to be their version of the Too Faced Chocolate Bar Palette. You've seen me use this before in plenty of tutorials and also I've shown this in favorites before, but this is what it looks like. It's a really pretty palette with some browns, some kind of warm tones, and some neutrals. And I think this is a really great everyday palette. I think that a lot of people can get a lot of use out of this. The pigmentation is pretty freaking awesome. I'm not going to do swatches of everything just because I want to keep this video as short as possible. But this is incredible. They do have, I think, um, maybe a dark chocolate and a white chocolate. I know that there's another chocolate that's kind of brown on the exterior and then a white chocolate palette. So I don't have those to show you, but this is really, really great. And it's a great size for traveling. Cutesy little packaging looks like a bar of chocolate. And this does not smell like cocoa powder, unfortunately. It does not have that quality like the Too Faced one does. Next is the Redemption palette, the Hot Smoke. This is supposed to be their version of the Urban Decay Smoked palette. And I used uh, a few, well actually no, just one color from this palette for this tutorial. But this is going to be your very deep and very smoky. You have a couple kind of neutrally shades here that are matte. But then you have a nice range of dark smoky colors. And then you also have your jewel tone colors. Your pops of blue, your purple, you have a nice beautiful green. And then sort of like a more jewel tone purple here. And then this is kind of like a... Kind of like a mauve -y purple color. So very pigmented and very pretty. Um, so if you like smoky eyes or if you like the really intense dark looks, then this is going to be the palette for you. Next I have the Romantic Smoke. This is another redemption palette. So this is going to be um, a mixture of shimmers and mattes. This one is going to be a lot more everyday. And I think I found on someone's blog that they said that this is very similar to one of the Laura, Mer Laura Mercier palettes. And I'm not sure because I don't have Laura Mercier palettes, so I can't really compare it. But it's got a lot of neutrally shades. It's one, two, three, four, five, six of the colors are... Uh, shimmers or metallic so from here to this shade here and then from this matte color here down they're all matte and they're pretty basic staple mattes like this kind of like plummy purple color it's really pretty um, I just feel like the quality is just a little bit less than what I've come to expect from the other palettes that I'm going to show you and from what I've just talked about previously um, this one is okay I would I would say skip this one unless you are interested in these colors then I have two of the larger eyeshadow palettes, and these are a pain in the rear to get open, but this one is the Eyes Like Angels, so I'll show you. They do have a little bit of a plastic insert with the names written on there. So that can be annoying for some people, but it doesn't bother me. And this is the Eyes Like Angels palette. So as you can see, it's full of brights, and it's a lot of shimmers, a lot of metallics. That's what I use primarily today for this look. A lot of the colors in here have that very creamy, very foiled texture, which I absolutely adore. I think that they nailed it. Um, you do have a little bit of fallout with this, but honestly, for the quality and the price, this is less than $13. I think it's $12.50. You can beat it. The quality can be beat. The price can be beat. 
And this one is definitely for those who like those fun pops of color like the blues, the oranges, the hot pinks. You got some nice fun greens. And then of course you have some more neutral shades like these grays. You have a beautiful range of bronzy tones. Gorgeous palette. This is one of my absolute favorites of the bunch that I have. And then the last eyeshadow palette that I have is the Ultra Professional Eyeshadow Flawless Matte. So they have that sort of shiny exterior plastic packaging. You will see your fingerprints, but I've talked about that before. That's not a deal breaker for me. Great size mirror on all of the palettes that are large like this one here. And then this is all of your matte eyeshadows. So starting from the lightest neutral kind of like creamy buttercream colors, kind of gradually getting to some warmer shades, some pinks and mauves, going to some oranges, some browns, and then your deep, dark, smoky kind of um, grayish tones. And you could use all of these for a look. You could use all of these for a look. So I feel like the placement of the colors it makes it really user-friendly. Uh, the only thing is that the quality of, the, of these, it's good, for the price, I think, again, right around $12.50. Inexpensive, this is for the quality that you're getting. It's crazy. But I, I like this. I think that this is going to be a good palette for those who want to build their collection of mattes. For those who are starting off with makeup, because, you again, user-friendly. It's not too over the top. It's not too many crazy colors. It's not too busy. I feel like this gives you all the staple colors that you need to create a look from your base shadow brush. Yeah brush your base shadow eye colors to your transition to your mid-tones to your smoky and outer V colors you've got everything that you need in this palette and this is the flawless matte next for a couple of their face palettes I have just two the ultra contour again has that same sort of very sleek black packaging with the gold writing on the front of it or it's more like a rose gold and has a nice size mirror and you've seen this in tutorials as well this is their contour palette uh, so these three shades here are very matte very creamy and very blendable this highlight here is very very intense and very shimmery this one is a lot softer more of like a beigey color then you have these three highlighting shades you have a light pink that's matte you have a bright yellow kind of like a banana color that's matte and then this one right here is a soft kind of pinky beige this has a bit of a satiny finish it's not as shimmery as these other two here but it's definitely a nice highlight shade so again a really good range of colors I do feel like some of these like the darker ones especially these two might be too warm for someone that's much more fair than I am but if you're light like I am mid medium skin tone tan or even deeper you might get some use out of this so this is the ultra contour next is the highlighter palette the radiance this is my baby I love this again nice size mirror but then you have three huge highlighters and you have one that's kind of like a beige one that's a little bit more of like a champagne kind of like an ivory color and then one that has a subtle bronzy tone now what I like about this is that this bronzy tone that it's in this palette isn't so fake looking isn't so like too orangey bronze it's just the right amount of bronze and the texture and finish is incredible and out of this world. I just adore it. It's a very soft kind of bronze. This palette is ideal for anyone that loves sort of like these light sort of bronzy shades and sort of like a neutrally highlight. It's very soft. It's what I'm wearing today, but definitely I've layered this and gotten a very sort of like strobing, you can see me from outer space, glowing. That's how intense this can look if you decide to layer it that way. But it's also very soft, and I feel like for those of us who are pretty fair and we want that kind of J-Lo bronzy glow, this is a great highlight because it doesn't look too fake versus something that's much more deeper in bronze or a little bit kind of orangey. It looks odd on very fair skin. So love this, highly recommend this. Okay, so I have a bronzer. This is the Ultra Bronze. You've seen this in almost every single tutorial. I absolutely adore this. I think, I want to say this is their version of maybe the Too Faced um, Chocolate Soleil. Very similar. The Chocolate Soleil obviously smells so much better. But this is very soft, very creamy, and blendable. I use this pretty much every day. And it's pretty light, so I would say anyone that's fair to maybe like a medium skin tone can get some use out of this. If you're one of the uh, darker, like richer skin tones, you might want to find one on their site or from another brand that's a little bit deeper but this is a great matte bronzer and the size is huge this is 15 grams and I think this was like four or five bucks it's like I said ridiculous I have one of their iconic or the blush bronze and brighten I don't know if it's called iconic or if the shade is called flush but 
I will have it listed down below either way so that you can find it. It's a cute little travel, like really thin. It takes virtually no space at all in a bag. And it's got a bronzer, a highlight, and a blush. The blush is what I'm wearing today. It's a really pretty matte sort of rosy color. It's very sort of on the neutral side. It's not too pink. It's not too light. It's not super warm. I feel like it goes with a lot of looks that I wear. So this is a perfect like travel companion for me. The highlight is a nice sort of pinky color. And the bronzer is a very nice warm brown. But... I wish it were more of a traditional matte, but even though it's not, it's I would say it's more of like a satin finish. So even though the bronzer doesn't have a fully matte finish as I would prefer, I think this is the one out of the ones that I saw on the site that looked more matte. Um, they do have different colors and different finishes, and yes, it's pretty dirty. Ignore that. <laughs> but this is really great. I love that. A couple blushes. I have three of the matte blushes and these are more recent and that's the thing with Makeup Revolution they are launching products consistently all the time and it's really really great stuff so these are fairly new these are the matte blushes these are 8.9 grams and I got these on their site for right around five dollars they're or maybe like four almost five but I think on the Ulta website they're a little bit more than five dollars so um, I've got three shades this one here is called Beloved which is a pretty corally pink. Very, very intense and very creamy. I mean, if I can get it open, <laughs> this here will last me forever. So this is again that corally pink. I have Nude, which is probably the one that I use the most um, because it just is that sort of like nudish color with a subtle kind of rosy tint, but it's not too pink and it's not too warm where it kind of clashes with certain looks. Like I could have worn this today with this intense bold eye. I use this all the time, even just with a simple eye. I just love this. And this reminds me of one of the blushes from Tarte. Um, I believe it's called Exposed, which has been a favorite of mine for many years. But it's not quite exactly the same, but it kind of reminds me of that. So this is a much more affordable option if you're interested. And then the last one is called Fusion. And this one is a little bit deeper in comparison to Beloved, which is brighter, much more, I feel like more summery, whereas Fusion is definitely very fall because it's a little bit of a deeper rose color. It's really, really pretty. And again, very smooth, and they just glide onto the skin and extremely pigmented. Of course, you wouldn't wear it in that concentration. You would definitely share this out some, so these will last a long, long time. I only have one standalone highlighter. Um, the other ones are in palettes or as I've already showed you um, in like a little travel size but this is the Goddess of Love. This is the triple baked highlighter and this is supposed to be their version of the you know the sweetheart blushes or highlighters from Too Faced. I forget what they're called but it's got that heart shape and this one the Goddess of Love is a very soft kind of pinky color. It has an iridescent sort of quality to it. It's not glittery. It's not metallic. Um, I bet if you wet your brush or dampen it and you could get that sort of like metallic kind of strobing look to it But it's very very soft and you definitely have to really build it up But again, you know, it just depends on your preference But it's a light kind of pink with a bit of an iridescent -y kind of glow to it And it's so freaking cute. I mean who wouldn't want this on their vanity or you know, just kind of sitting somewhere It's so cute Okay, so for some eye products, I have two of the Hypocrisy liners. I have the one in, what is this called? Baddest Blue <laughs> and Deprived. So Baddest Blue is what I used in today's tutorial on my waterline. It's a really pretty royal blue color. And these are your traditional kind of sharpened pencils. They're the wood ones. Um, it does come with a sharpener on the cap. But even though these are the traditional sharpened ones, it may not be for everyone. But... The thing with this is that they're really creamy. They don't tug, they don't pull or, you know, do anything weird. They're just really nice. They're a little bit, they're creamy, but they're kind of slightly dry, which I feel like helps them grab onto the waterline because if you have something so creamy and watery, putting it onto the waterline, which is already kind of a moist area around the eye, I feel like it's going to kind of slip and slide. So here is Baddest Blue and then that um, purple that's called Deprive. It's more of like a lilac. It's beautiful. That would be a really pretty pop of um, highlight or pop of color highlight. What am I talking about? 
pop of color in the inner corner of the eye or just as a liner like in the summertime that would be really pretty and then you guys have seen my little liquid liner um, it, the name is sort of rubbing off but it's a traditional sort of inkwell type of liner it's very intense and it's got like a plasticky felt tip that comes to a really nice point it's a very rich black shade but it's very sort of liquidy so again it's not one for those who are beginners in liquid liner because it's there's a lot of product that's on the tip of this uh, so I like to use this when I put false eyelashes to kind of conceal the band and just to let you know this um, liner once it dries it has a nice matte finish so it doesn't shine like some liners that when you put it on and it dries it has kind of like a glossy finish this is a very sort of matte really rich and black liner so a good one inexpensive I can't remember exactly the prices of these things but the most expensive thing is like twelve fifty, almost thirteen dollars and like the cheapest thing is like a dollar and change I think this was like two or three bucks so really inexpensive great quality I have one uh, concealer liquid conceal this is the focus and fix liquid concealer and I have it in the shade light this is one way too light two it's a little bit on the dry side for me so this was the one product from my initial order that I placed that I felt was kind of okay I remember talking about that in the beginning of the video it's just okay it's very light so I could definitely do a lot of highlighting like that triangle under the eye on the brow bone clean around I could use it to clean around my eyebrows and stuff like that and get a very sort of like I don't know highlighted effect to the eye and to the skin but it's a little bit on the dry side and granted yes my eyes have been kind of dry lately so I just feel like it's not working with me I could mix it with a little bit of oil which I've done before like a beauty oil and make it work but it's not my favorite so I would definitely skip on this personally that's just me I just don't feel like even though it's just a couple bucks it's not even I wouldn't really recommend that alright so I have two pigments um, these were extremely cheap <laughs> And this one is called Etiquette, and then I have Cautious. For some reason, Cautious doesn't seem to be full all the way like Etiquette is. That's a little bit weird. But these are 1.5 grams, and I think I paid like a dollar fifty-ish, somewhere around there. But they're really, really pretty. Uh, Cautious is a kind of pinky, bronzy kind of color, and then Etiquette, yes, Etiquette is a deeper, um, kind of smoky color. But it's very, very intense. Like no joke these are pretty freaking awesome and um, the packaging is pretty basic and you know very cheapo but they're holding up so far and I definitely want to use these in tutorials very soon lip products I have a lot of lip products I have two of the wow glosses um, and this line is they have so many different ranges of lip products they have like the ones um, the I heart makeup line which has like this sort of like hot pink metallic uh, packaging which is like the wow glasses wow wow glosses say that three times um, and then they have the lip hugs they have regular lipsticks but they're all really inexpensive so I have two of the glosses and this is you go girl which is that beautiful berry and then watch out world which is this really intense kind of orangey coral color uh, the only thing is with this one here sometimes there's a little bit of seepage this that comes out of the product so it's not one that I would put in my purse because I don't want to ruin it but these are incredibly pigmented like I'm just gonna swatch it just once that's the uh, what is this one called you go girl which is that beautiful berry it's got a flat doe foot applicator hopefully you guys can see that and it's just a nice size to actually fit like in your back pocket you can put it you know if you have a small clutch this is something that just it doesn't take a lot of space it's not very wide and it's not that you know big so it's gonna it's gonna fit nicely in a small compact purse um, I'm not sure about a wallet but definitely a small purse and then here is that sort of like orangey coral color called watch out world so very very intense I like the finish of these it's super glossy it's not sticky there are a little bit slightly on the thicker side but I feel like when you have such a pigmented gloss having it a little bit on the thicker side definitely keeps it on a little longer than something that's very sheer or very kind of watery and very sort of like thin that just doesn't really grab onto the lips and you have to really layer it up these one swipe you're good to go like really intense then my last gloss that I have is the amazing gloss I just got one from the range this one is called natural pink um, I think this range of glosses has maybe four or 
five. Don't quote me on it. But this natural pink is just a really pretty bubblegummy pink color. It's very light, but it definitely does show up on my lips. It just gives me a little bit of a pinky tinge to my lips, and it's a great sort of everyday. If I don't really want to think about putting on anything, I can just grab this and go. I love the consistency. The shine is pretty glossy. I love that. I'm a gloss girl, so this is right up my alley, and I actually remembered Thank goodness to get this out of my purse because this is the gloss that I've been carrying in my little makeup bag inside my purse. This is really a pretty just everyday kind of gloss. Now they do have um, some long wearing lip products and I think this was one of the products that was recommended to me by a, a lovely viewer of mine, the Salvation Velvet Lacquers. And I believe these are, I haven't really played around too much with this one but I think that this is their version of the long wear lipsticks. I'm not sure which brand they're trying to dupe, but this is the shade here. I don't even know what color this is. Oh, sorry, it's called What I Believe. And it's very, very intense. So I'm a little scared <laughs> to wear this because one, I don't like long wearing products because they're too drying and I'm not all about that matte life. So I don't know. So I'm gonna report back on this, but I do like the Lip Lava. This is part of the I Heart Makeup line and this is a liquid lipstick with vitamin E and it's a beautiful shade and again it's just so so incredibly beautiful and I I think it's called lip lava I think that's the 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 actual color but this is supposed to be from the packaging standpoint the same sort of like applicator like the Too Faced um, what are those the long wear lipsticks what are those called I have a few okay so there's is very similar to the melted liquefied long wear lipstick from Too Faced. I have like a couple little minis here, um, but the applicators are pretty much the same. That doe foot that has a little bit of a hole, so as you squeeze it, it comes through the hole, and then you can use the tip of the applicator to apply the product. So it's very much the same sort of setup here, but again, it's a much bigger tube for a fraction of the cost. So here is that color, and it is a very sort of drier formula. It's a really pretty pink color. Then I have a couple of their lipsticks. These are just their, you know, traditional round lipsticks. I'm not really sure if this is a, a specific line because it just says lipstick. So I have Reckless, which is a really deep red color. Swatch that for you really quickly. There's Reckless. I have the shade Dusky, which is a soft pink but it has a frosty finish so again not too thrilled about that because I'm not a frost finish type of gal with my lipsticks but I do like how the bottom has that little color so that you can really see if you're laying them maybe upright in a container or if you're laying them inside of a drawer you can see kind of head on what you're looking at so I like that and then I have another one this is in the shade the one so again, really inexpensive, cheap packaging, but the quality of the lipsticks are really pigmented for just a couple bucks. And they do have the traditional sort of drugstore lipstick smell. This one in the shade, the one, which is that nude here, it smells a little lemony, but the other ones do smell very much like your traditional drugstore lipsticks. Then I have two that have that sort of bullet style that kind of look like MAC lipsticks. And I have I Heart My Lips. Wait, is that what it's called? Maybe that's the line, I heart my lips. I'm confused because they have I heart makeup, whatever. But this one here says, I heart my lips and then irregular heartbeats. So I think irregular heartbeat is the name. Oh yeah, these are the ones that are so cutesy. They are in the shape of a heart. This one is not my favorite. It's a little dry for me, but that color is too intense for my liking. I didn't think it was going to be this bold and it's extremely pigmented like crazy and it says I heart makeup on the front and then this one in the shade looking ahead I think this is just a regular lipstick it's not part of the I heart makeup line that's what I'm wearing today mixed with another one that I'm gonna show you this one is a really pretty deep kind of mauvey shade very much an easy color to wear it's not going to be super crazy because like I said I'm wearing it today mixed with one of my all-time favorites this is the lip hug and love can set you free I've talked about this in the I think favorites before, but it has that sort of slim packaging and it has that twist up. 
I adore this formula. It's very, it has a bit of a glossy finish, but it's very comfortable. It's not matte at all. I just love it. It's a beautiful kind of everyday mauve shade. It's so pretty, but it's also kind of slightly kind of nudish. So really, really pretty. And then I have one from this range. I'm not really sure exactly what these are called. It's probably from the iHeart makeup line, but it's the ones with the hot pink um, metallic packaging. This is in the shade Totally Not Boring, and this is a berry with a bit of a shimmer. So I will swatch this for you. Very, very intense. And again, that traditional lipstick smell. The packaging on this one feels a little kind of cheapo, but again, if you kind of are a little careful handling it, I mean, look at the pigmentation. That was just one swipe. And then my last product is one of these like little duo type of products where you have a lipstick on the top and a gloss at the bottom. And this is in the shade It's My Life, and these are called the Lip Power. So the lipstick is a very nude. It's like a concealer nude. It kind of is, I think, a little bit deeper. A little bit deeper than, yeah, a little bit more pinky than Creme de Nude by MAC, and that's it right there. It's a little bit deeper. But what I like about this is that I'm not too crazy about the finish of the lipstick because it is a little bit on the matte side, but it has a coordinating gloss on the end, and this is a nude gloss with a golden sparkle to it. So let me see if I can get it to show up here. So let me show you. So there's the lipstick, and then there's the gloss. So very similar in tone, except the gloss is obviously glossy and has a bit of a goldeny sort of shimmer in it and it's really really pretty and what I like about it is that the shimmer particles that you see because you will see it when you're looking at it it doesn't feel gritty which is a pet peeve of mine I can't stand when glosses put or brands put sparkles in their gloss and then you can feel that gritty feel I don't like it it's not my thing not my thing <laughs> so here's an up close look at all of the lip products um, here's like the wild glosses here is that lip power with the gloss and the lipstick these are some of the um, like the traditional round lipsticks in the black packaging. Here's the um, liquid lipsticks that dry matte and are long wearing. And then there's that berry from that metallic pink packaging from the iHeart line. So as you can see, very, very pigmented. And just such a gorgeous range of colors. They have so many much they have so many more to choose from. It's it's kind of overwhelming. But there they are. Okay, so I'm wiping off my hand, and as you can see, this is the Salvation Lip Lacquer, which looks like this, the long-wearing one, and it's not coming off. Like, I have to, like, really scrub, and even when I'm scrubbing, it's on there. So these are extremely long-wearing, and the shade that I have is in the is called What I Believe. And again, those are the Salvation Velvet Lacquers. All right, so I hope that this video was helpful, kind of showing you guys some things that I have. They have so many things, like, just because they have, you know, five different sort of ranges of lipsticks doesn't mean that that's it because each range probably has like 15 or 20 different colors it's insane how many products they have they come out with stuff all the time so if you want to kind of stay up to date with what they have new then I would definitely follow them on their Instagram page I will link it down or put it down below for you you can also sign up for their newsletter on the website that's how I get all the coupon codes and the sales they'll, they'll do sales like three for two so you can pick three products for the price of two like Hello, like who wouldn't like that? So I really like this brand. I like the lip products, the lipsticks are great. Um, I Some of the finishes are kind of okay for me, but I can change that. If it's matte, I can put a gloss, no big deal. Um, again, I'll have to kind of report back to you on the Velvet Lip Lacquer because I'm not a fan at all of liquid lipsticks, long wearing, so I wanted to try it. It feels a little dry, but that's just the nature of those types of products. If you wanted any sort of recommendation of what to get, without a shadow of a doubt, you have to get the Radiance Palette. If you are into highlighting, whether you want a soft highlight or you want something that you can build up and make it a little bit more intense, this is the palette for you. I adore this. I cannot see myself without that. The Contour Palette is actually really good, so if you wanted something that was very similar to very high-end ones like the Anastasia Beverly Hills, which is, I think, $40, some of the high-end brands, this is won't set you back with only $13 or maybe even a little less. Of course, you do have to add shipping to that, but it's much more affordable, and if you're trying to expand your collection or if you're trying to build a kit, if you're a makeup artist, you might want to give these products a try and see what you think. I do absolutely adore the Eyes Like Angels eyeshadow palette if you like bright colors or if you just want to have one palette that gives you a few sort of everyday colors and then a few pops of colors that you can use when you are feeling a little bit 
sort of wanting to take a little risk with your makeup for whatever reason, you can go to your palette. Instead of going for your everyday colors that you reach for, you can just pick a different color and use that. So I love this. It has a nice range of different finishes from foil to some shimmers and then to very metallic. So again, really, really great. And I cannot forget the I Heart Chocolate Palette. This is awesome, awesome, awesome. I love this. I love the matte blushes. I would also recommend that if you're into matte blushes. Even if you're not, you can always put a highlighter over the top to kind of give it a shimmery finish so don't feel like just because it's matte it's not going to work for you. If you love the color then just put on a little bit of highlight right over the top and boom, problem solved. So love that. I do like the little travel sized, uh, like a little trio compact of the bronze highlight and blush. If you're someone that travels a lot I would definitely recommend that you check these out because they're affordable and they don't take a lot of space. I mean, everything is great, so I can keep recommending everything that I just showed you, but I hope that this video was helpful. If you have any additional questions, please let me know. I will be, I'll try my best to answer them, and don't forget to subscribe, thumbs up, like the video, let me know what your thoughts are, and yeah, I will have everything listed down below for you with those links, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!